What's good, y'all? Just chilling, 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 chilling like a villain. Do villains really chill though? I think I don't think they chill. I think they always up to something. Oh, hold on, there's a homeless man right there. Let me give him a, let me give him some money real quick. Hey yo. Hey yo. Come here. Hey bro, you got a dollar? I just need a dollar, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know. You know what I'm saying? You got money. You look, you got a new whip. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's new. I can clean it. I can clean it for you if you want to. I can clean it for you. I can clean I got one, two, three, four, five. Five dollar will do. Five dollar? Nah, bro. That's too low. Like, I, I really need a cut. You know what I'm saying? I need... Are you trying to get a cut? Yeah, you see me? Patched up. I need a... Uh, cut is like 20 dollar? I need like 20, 30. Nowadays, you bums be bold, man. Y'all be bold, man. Crazy thing is, I'm kind of like a barber, like a self-made barber. Oh, oh, you a barber? And also like a loctician a little bit. Oh, bet. So I can fix you up, you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of giving you the five dollar. Yeah, let me holler at you, come here. Uh, huh? Come here. Oh, uh, what do you want to say? Come here. Oh. I know you got that stimulus check. Bro, not everybody got that, bro. I just, I, man, I, I could just do your hair, whatever. whatever. I'm a barber, you know, so I do, I do this. I, I ain't gotta give you some money. Come on, I take care of you. I'm a barber, and, yeah, and the lock. Right, I'll hop on, in. Get I'll in. hop in. Come on. You want hop in? Appreciate you, my dog. Hop in. Hop, hop, hop in. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, bro. So, how long you been in the street? Yeah, I got. You know, you know what I'm saying the way I became homeless. This is nice. The, the way I became homeless is uh, is that uh, uh, you know what I'm saying like my parents kicked me out. You know what I'm saying like wow. I had dope dreads. You know they didn't like my dreads and stuff like that. So they they told me to get out because I look I almost I always look like a homeless dude because I had dreads. God dang, looking all patched up, <laughs> ugly boy. You think if you could give me a cut like you know I'll be I'll look normal? Maybe get a job. You know what I'm saying? I got you, bro. I take care of you, bro. This is my crib right here. Oh, uh, this is my crib right here. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So we can get you a cut. Oh, this is your home? Oh, this is nice. Let's do it. Oh, let's go. All right. Appreciate you, bro. No problem, bro. No problem. Come on, man. Yeah, come here, bro. Come on. <laughs> this is a nice house, bro. Oh, you got a fridge, bro. Say less. Yeah, this is my house. and Say less, say less, say less. What you want? And. Uh, yeah, I guess make yourself at home. <laughs> hey, all y'all have is hot sauce and the cake. Come on, man, and garlic. I, I even got better stuff over there when you pick me up in the corner, bro. I don't cook that much. I, you know, I eat out. I got money. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you funny. I got some water, though. Appreciate you, dog. You want some water? <laughs> yeah, grab one. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't need water. I'm good. <laughs> I know this ain't my house, but you know I feel kind of welcome. You want? All right. Let's just fix you up. You get out of my house. How about that? All right, then, man. I, I mean, I, I, don't trip, man. I just, I just grab water. That's all I did, man. Don't trip, man. You got some cookies? You got some snack? Welcome back to another video. Let's go. Let's get it. I can literally hear it echoing all over this place. Y'all look at this and tell me what the heck is wrong with me? What what is going on? So hyped for this video. I've been having some issues with the settings of the camera, so hopefully it's not like what it looks like on that viewfinder. Hopefully it's good. But guys, how about how about I get a transformation? Man, look at this. Mm. Oh my god. I can't even stand myself right now. Look at this. Like what is going on? I'm gonna just give myself a cut, man. Hopefully you guys like the skit. Hopefully you guys found it funny. I'm gonna be doing more of that soon. I definitely need to cut. I'm about to transform myself. But guys, as you guys know, we're about to hit 20K. I believe after this video, after this video or the video after that, we're going to hit a 20K. So top 10 dreadlocks, subscriber dreadlocks coming soon. If you haven't submitted your dreadlocks, 
picture, submit it in Instagram DMs at Activerse, at Activerse.com, almost said that, but no, just go to Instagram, Activerse, uh, submit your dreadlocks, I'm gonna be doing a review, and if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a YouTube channel, send me a video of you doing my intro so I can plug you in when I hit 20k subscribers, I'm gonna be plugging in everybody that sent me uh, the intros, and I've seen some of you guys already, don't worry guys, if, 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 if it seems like I haven't read or replied to your text back, doesn't mean that I have not seen it. I've been seeing your guy DMs, man. So stay tuned. Shout out to everybody that commented in the last video, man. I'm about to just give out a shout out right now. Boom, bam, bada, bam, bam, boom. You know what I mean? I did a three year hair transformation in one minute. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out right now. But shout out to these fellas right here. I wish my hair grew like that. Chrome ABC, shout out. Shout out to Complete Dweeb. <laughs> Complete Dweeb. I don't know if you have a channel yeah he does so shout out to complete dweeb shout out to Arkmid J jetty Arka arkham arkham jetty i love your videos bro but i think your hair was more fire with the curls appreciate it my hair was fire with the curls you ain't cap spicy kyle he always comments on my videos go check him i don't know if he has a channel for it like where he upload but just show him love you know go like his comment mad fire though uh, by OTS source s so I might start doing this every video man shout out shout out you guys cuz I appreciate everybody that comment on my videos and also like the videos and make sure you do those things on this video so that I can shout you out the next video maybe before we get into this video you know what we do here is intro intro <laughs> I guess we're just going to stick to the settings, but I have a light right here, maybe. Turn the light this way. Maybe just keep it that low. As you guys see on my facial hair, I usually don't grow this part out, or this part out. The reason because is I want it to match. This, since this part is very slow at, at growing, I usually cut off this part and match it with this one, and also basically ball this part out. As I'm trimming it and cutting it, what is happening is, uh, every time, you know, there's like little light hair coming out, and I'm trimming them, whenever it grows back out, it grows back, it gr it grows back out with much more strength so that it can keep on basically so whenever you I don't know if you guys noticed but the first time you shave something it comes back a little bit rough but then you keep shaving it keeps growing and they say some people say that's a myth but to me in my opinion and in my really experience the moment that I shaved anything of my part of my body it just it just exploded like my arms for example like I've never had hair like this till one day I shaved it I didn't shave everything but I think I shaved this part just this part right here I remember just trying it out like and then look at this part versus the other parts I mean I'm still hairy but that's crazy as this part and also when I, I remember when I was 20 when I was 19 is when I started shaving I think maybe 18 I started shaving and I've never owned a sh like a razor or anything like that so I looked it up on the video I said how do you shave <laughs> And then people were like using the foam and you know shaving it so i bought those things and i tried those things and i was annoyed by it because it was so much work in a way not so much work but i don't know i was like i have to do this every two days or so so i just wanted a beard so badly like i'm like i don't want to do this every two days i don't want to shave my face every two days or three days i just want to have a growth and then maybe line it up i'll do that you know what i'm saying i'm not very like into myself like how a, a lot of people are like they like to look clean all the time which is nothing is wrong with that but it's like to me i don't see that as everything and every day thing to do for me i just wash my face daily though <laughs> you have to wash your face daily at least and besides that man i don't even brush my beard as much as much as i should and for sure you should brush your beard especially if you're growing it out because i guess dandruff come in there too it's weird but i have a skin i believe i have a skin uh that produce a lot more oil than normal people rate so i found out recently that it's not because you lack oil sometimes you get dandruff sometimes it's because of the excessive amount of oil your natural body produces and from how hairy i am i can just tell i'm blessed with oil that like natural oil that comes out of my body so there is no way i'm lacking a shortage of like you know i'm lacking oil like, like the natural oil that my body needs or my hair needs so I get like excessive amount of oil and that's why my hair my like my skin looks oily sometimes like it looks like I, like you guys ask for tutorials you know you guys know that my my skin looks phenomenal especially in the sun and I believe it's because of the natural oil that I have and so that was kind of like informative to learn recently that 
I was like, well, this whole time I was thinking that I'm, I'm not getting enough oil and I'm trying to put more oil and it gets way worse when I do that. That makes sense. So for those of you guys that are struggling with that, now you guys know why you're struggling with it. Especially if you're like, I would say maybe African American, but mainly like, you know, if you're straight up from Africa or so, especially from where I'm, I'm from, like Ethiopia side, I think we are blessed with like skin. And it's not to bag on anybody, but just to let you know that some people just deal with that. And I'm not sure what, you know what I'm saying, with Caucasian folks, if you guys struggle with that, but you guys can comment down below and let me know if you guys struggle with dandruffs as much as I do. And I know everybody has dandruffs, like, everybody you know what i'm saying like there's no beard trim or anything like that always know your good side and your bad side some people have you know both sides growing at the same rapid amount of time and that's such an awesome thing and also brush and comb as much as you can with your beard so it don't get tangled because it's the most hurtful thing to brush your a tangled or nappy beard especially since my hair is not used to getting brushed that much you know what i'm saying it's almost like two years old this beard so the skin that holds it it's not as strong as a lot of people that had it for years like you can just literally go through theirs and they just don't feel it for me I gotta be careful my neck is getting again better my chin is way better it used to hurt me right here like like a mother lover but then now it's a father lover he wants me to be a father you know what I'm saying look how long it is versus when I let go how short it gets I mean that's what beard do but and this side is my good side, you guys can see this is way fuller than this side. You guys can tell it there. And I don't like that, like I hate the fact that my face is not, like if you were to split it, it's like this side is goofy. Come on man, catch, catch up. But I remember when this side was like this side. But what I mean is like, I remember when this side was so terrible that this side right now I have right here was on this side. So I remember being like, ah, catch up. And then now caught up, now this was way ahead. And I don't get much hair on my neck, but I feel like I soon will because I don't touch it as much I just you know trim it down. I have some long hairs on my neck. It's so weird. Like right here. There's long hair so There's literally a hair I'm pulling if you, even if you don't see it, that's how long I'm pulling it And I have a few of them I have like three or four of them Yeah, it's just trying to grow. It's just trying to come in. Oh I got a bunch of little ones right here it's just so weird, man. What kind of creatures we are. Make sure you brush it down so it can grow straight down. This one is doing a pretty good job at that. This one's all right. And then from there, I'm gonna show you guys my eyebrow. I've already shown you guys how to do these ones, so I'm gonna just skip to the end of it. Sometimes I do a little bit of touch up on that one, but I did it last time, so I'm just gonna always brush it upward over here and then down, and then the middle part, just brush it up. Looks good when it's brushed up. See that? Boom, your eyebrows look good. Now I'm gonna do clean up on the dreadlocks. Take your stuff out of the ponytail. Ah. And usually it's the sides that have a lot of those problems, and the inside you just split till you get a retwist. So yeah, I've done it recently, so that's not, not any clumps going on here. I'm gonna be washing my dreadlocks anytime soon. I'm just gonna fix the front part where the hairs are out and about. I wanna touch it with the uh, crochet needle cause I just did it like not that long ago, maybe a month ago. You don't want too much crochet needle on your hair. Just maybe just do dry retwist. Even if you want it moisture a little bit with gel, do that. So I'm just grabbing the end of it and rubbing it with the dreadlocks that it goes to and I'll do the same thing with the other one and you just do the front ones a little time spread them out boom and the back ones just hanging 
Kicking back being cool. Kicking back being bull. I give myself a haircut. Watch my hair tutorials, how I cut my dreadlocks because it's very different than regular hair. And so I'll be back after my cut my dreadlock. I'm gonna give myself a high taper. So here we go. Eyebrows, you know, say you look good. You got this going on your beard. You know, say I touched it up with the razor. I got that high taper, and then I just lined up right there. I didn't need to line up right here because I wanted ball faded right there. And uh, I lost my ball fading uh, battery, so it's not all the way faded as crispy as it should be, but it still looks really good. And this is what it looked like to fade. Watch my other videos to learn how to do high taper fade. This will save you money, save you time doing it your own self instead of waiting at a barbershop. Uh, but God bless the barbershop too. Shout out to them. And if you got, if you already have a barber, go to them if you want to do your own, do your own thing. Sheesh! You put your dread up, you can leave it in a pineapple mode, or you can leave it in a ponytail mode. Whichever one you want. But this is a banger hairstyle. If you guys have not done this, check it out. My hair is so long that almost like it comes to the front of my chest. I need to clean up and get it going. But this is before and after a homeless man transformation. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm acting the verse and I'm out. Stay tuned, you dig?